right, so this is the Begonia Apicomeri stem culture. This is the first plant that we started working in class. And I want to start my culture using the um, uh, forceps, a uh, five fine point forceps, and my fine uh, point uh, scapula. So let's get started. Uh, so I can see that it's well in focus. I'm on a good distance to get it started here. Uh, later on, I can zoom in if I need to. So for this one, what you want to do is um, peel all the leaves. So this is uh, the good side of the plant. So I just want to, with my forces, grab it from here. And all I want to do is just, just peel this leaf off. So I just want to hold it with the forceps and peel it up with the scapel. Okay, you have to take your uh, patience. This is uh, uh, something that is definitely not easy. I was very impressed with all you guys that got uh, really far into the um, into the like the removing uh, many leaf primordias. Um, it's definitely not easy. And let's see how I do here. So on this one, so you can see the leaf and my apicomeri stem. Is right here in the middle. So what I'm going to do is cut this part, get rid of this, and I want to have to keep a constant look on the camera because so make sure it's in focus. I think it's still in focus. Just keep doing fine adjustments. So that's one something that um, in class is that. You have to keep doing like very, very fine adjustments of your focus, both on the microscope and on the camera. Uh, now, you don't have to, most likely you won't have to worry about the camera, but as I'm recording, I have to do that. But on the microscope, as the the explant, uh, as my my shoot tip is getting smaller, it also gets out of focus because it's, the adjustment is really, really fine that you have to, uh, as you, you remove a few layers, just adjust this and just to get it right in the perfect focus. That's kind of the thing is uh, you want to have as crisp as an image as you can. So it makes your work a lot easier. So let's keep going. And let's see. Grab it here. And there we go. I don't need this. I'm getting close to the point where I will um, get rid of the forceps and use two scapels. Like I, you can see for me, it's kind of difficult to grab it with the forceps because it's, uh, you can see there, they look, they, they look like the forceps are too big, but you already know the 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 apical mary stem or this shoot tip is really really small so come to i think i want to do that grab uh, two forceps i'm sorry two scapos and maybe just because i'm recording but maybe i'm in and check it today And look at that. So you can see, you can see that it changed color. It's more um, or like transparent color. So this is kind of my shoot tip. And even at this point, let's say if I want to introduce this to tissue quarter, the chances that this part is a sterile are actually very high. As it was um, completely covered by some of the, uh, by a couple layers of lip primordia. So even if you're like they say the outside may have been um, contaminated or may, uh, may not be completely properly sterilized, the inside of this, uh, um, the inside like this shoe tip, is, uh, there is a very high chance that it's um, sterile or very, very clean. Um, but I want to keep going. So if you want to use shoe tips, this is good enough. But I want to keep going and see how far I can get. Uh, I can tell I'm very shaky today, so I may not be able to get to the to the meristem. Let's see. Let's actually let's adjust the microscope. Let's get closer if I can. 
So I want to go closer here. Let's see, I think then this may be as close as maybe all together right now without like without getting moving the microscopes. But I want to do that. Let's see if I can get I really want to get as close as I can so I can show you better. So I want to lift it a little. But right there, let's see if it works. Definitely not in focus. There is some focus. Right there. So that's in focus for me. So that was a little closer. Let me get even higher now. There's going to be a rough point where it's going to be really uncomfortable for me because it's way too high. That's okay. So let's. there okay so I think that will be that looks pretty good for now so let's keep going I mean this is tiny I mean it is can barely see just by the naked eye from here but let's see what we can do So my apicomer stem is just inside here. So I'm being, trying to be careful and peel all this off. Now you don't, on most cases you definitely don't have to get this close. So just like a shoot tip, like what I have, like I used a few layers before, that will be good enough for most of what you need. Uh, like you want to introduce plants to tissue cut or some difficult plants that maybe not be uh, com very clean uh, Shoot tip is more than enough. This is just if you want to remove some viruses Which uh, you probably don't have to do that for house plants. So uh, this is just gonna be extra uh, But yeah, I think I, I completely smudged this one. So let's let me try again Let me get Get this out of here Where's the other one? I have another one right here. So again, you can see it's completely out of focus because it's too big. So I had to go zoom out. Right there, right there. That looks pretty good. So, let's grab it. You can also, instead of peeling, you can go with the force, go all the way, with the scalpel, go the way in. Uh, because you don't need all this. There we go. So you can be a little bit more aggressive at the beginning. Uh, because what you're looking for is right there, inside there. So I can just cut that. Cut that off. There we go. I think it still looks in focus. I want to do a fine adjustment. Oh, I want to do a fine adjustment. Right there. So I want to get closer.
this one is difficult to get it to focus. So I think that's okay. Oh, there we go. So that was a nice peel. Yeah, I can see it's out of focus now. That's better. So it's going to open this up. Cut right here perfect and again so you're doing uh, shoot tips that's good enough which for you that's all that you need to do that's all you need to do so let's say you take a plant take your uh oops take your begonia and then you take some of that uh the lateral lateral shoots and you give it a quick like a sterilization and just as you remove those leaves the inside is going to be clean obviously i'm not changing right now my scalpel or my forceps but after you remove let's say each layer or uh, every couple of layers you want to um, keep uh, sterilizing your uh, your uh, scalpels or your or your tool scalpels and your forceps so uh, that's all you you need to do Again, I want to try to go even further, but uh, I probably want to de end up destroying this uh, shoot tip. Um, yeah, I don't feel right now. I'm not like no feeling it today. Um, there are some times where you can tell that it's like, I was trying to record as well yesterday and I didn't have the vision to do it yesterday. And today I don't have the hands. Um, I can, they feel shaky. But this is all you need to do is use, get to the shoot tip. The apicomeris stem is inside here. Um, all, the only reason you will go all the way to the apicomeris stem is will be to remove the viruses. But this is probably something that you don't, you won't not do for like most house plants. Um, definitely you would do this, this for like a, some crops, uh, but like important crops, but not for house plants. So I think this is good enough. I can see the apicomer stem right here. There is the apicomer stem. Oh, it's right there, right there in the middle. Let me see if I can take it off. Oh, I think I got it. I got it. This was very really hard, but I got it. So it's a little different color. Oh, where is it? Oh, yeah, it's still there on my force. So it's a slightly. Oops. Let's need to stop moving. So just try there. Let's see. Yeah, pretty much impossible. But it's a slightly, um, it kind of has a little bit of a shine in there, which is very difficult to see even with them on the microscope right here, using the, uh, the, the eyepieces, it is difficult. With the camera, it's even more, but it, it is there. It's definitely there. But like I say, you don't have to get to this all the way to the Apicomers, then use the shoot tip. That was great, and I think I saw everybody who uh, was doing this uh, with the begonia really got to that point. So I was pretty happy about that. And yeah, this is just kind of another kind of use video so you can use, uh, have a little way of understanding, or if you want to do again, you can use this video as a reference of what you need to do. But this is a begonia. Let's move on to the next plant. Hey 
everyone. Thanks for watching the video. If you're enjoying these Hitchu Culture videos, be sure to follow us on social media for more informative content. And if you're interested in conducting your own tissue culture experiments, make sure to check us out at plantcelltechnology.com for all the products you need to get started. Use the code FP10 for 10% off your first purchase.